scholars. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to set up our interactive math notebooks. Our interactive math notebooks are a tool that we will use every day to capture our learning in math. So each time we're in the math lesson, you'll have an opportunity to show me what you know from what I taught in your notebook. You're gonna use foldables, pictures, solve problems. Are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am. Let's get started. So on your desk, you have all of your materials available to set up the notebook. I pre-cut the duct tape for you. It's on the side of your desk. The duct tape is gonna add a little personality for your notebooks and also some stability since we'll be using the notebooks every day in math. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the first piece and then we'll cover it piece by piece together just to make sure that we get the tape on right because once it gets stuck, it's hard to take it off, okay? So I want you to watch me first. So I'm gonna take my first piece of duct tape with my interactive notebook flat on my desk, right side up, and I'm going to press it firmly on the top of my notebook like this. Okay, do you see the little piece of tape that's hanging off the side yes. in the front? We're gonna take this piece and fold it on the inside, okay? Then flip the notebook over and wrap the tape around, still pressing it to the back. What do you think I'm gonna do with the little piece that's hanging off to the side? I'm gonna go ahead and tape it to the back. Okay, are there any questions about my first covering for my notebook? No, ma'am. Okay, so go ahead and pick up your first piece of tape off the side of your desk, and I'm gonna walk around to help you if you need it. If it gets stuck, just pull it apart. Okay, hold it up and make sure that you're at the top edge and place it flat on the notebook. Okay guys, your notebooks look great. So now that we've covered the outside of our interactive math notebook, we're gonna go ahead and start setting up the inside. So on your desk, you have different colored sheets of paper that are going to go on the inside of the notebook. And we're going to use these papers throughout the school year, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is put in our star reference sheet, which we will use throughout the school year because it'll help you in preparation for the star test. So everyone pick up your yellow star reference sheet. And this is going to go on the inside cover of your notebook. See my example? This is where yours is gonna go on the inside. So you have a glue stick on your desk. What I'd like you to do is to glue it on the back and glue it on the cover. If you do not have a glue stick, raise your hand and I will give you one. Just a little bit of glue and glue it on the cover. Once you're finished, put the cap on your glue so that it does not dry out. And look up at me so that I know that you're ready. The page next to the star reference sheet should be blank. Okay, focus up. Good, so that means your eyes are on me. So everyone has their star reference sheet in. It's fine. The very next page next to it is going to be your cover sheet. So I have made a cover sheet for you. It's orange. I want you to write your name on the cover sheet. You have a marker on your desk. Go ahead and write your name on your cover sheet. Write your name. Now, the cover sheet is going to go right next to the star reference page. So we're gonna glue that in now. Go ahead, you only need a little bit of glue. After your cover sheet is glued into the notebook, Look up at me, let me know that you're ready. So we have our cover sheet in our notebook. The next thing we're going to do is glue in our annual goals. Does anybody know what annual means? If something happens annually, do you have a birthday every month? How 
often do you have a birthday? Once a year. So we're gonna set up some yearly goals. So if you see the pink sheet that says my 2015-2016 math annual goals, I want you to pick this one up. It looks like this, the pink sheet. We're going to set up our goals on tomorrow, but we're gonna go ahead and glue it in our notebook today. Our goals are going to be glued in on the back of the cover page. These are going to be math goals that you're going to make for this school year. Where do you want to go in math this year? How well do you want to do? You're gonna give yourself some goals. So go ahead and glue this in on the back of the cover page. Okay, it looks like everyone has their goals glued in. I want you to think about some math goals you have for this school year, okay? Now, we're not gonna just use our notebook and write in it any kind of way and do whatever we want inside of it. We're gonna have some guidelines when we're using our interactive math notebook. So there's a light blue paper that says, my interactive math notebook is a mathematical tool that will represent my experiences this year in math. It says that I will use it how often? What does it say? Daily. Daily. So I have to be, what's that word? Responsible, very good. If you are absent, make sure to complete any pages that you may have missed by checking the master copy. Who do you think has the master copy? Who do you think has it? Miss Curry, I have the master, so if you're absent, it's your responsibility to make sure that you check my notebook to complete yours. Does everybody understand that? Give me a thumbs up if you understand that. Okay, good, hands down. So what are the rules to use in my notebook? I have to write neatly and legibly. I have to be able to read it, and you need to be able to read it too because it is a study tool for you. I have to create a cover page for each new concept. So each time we learn something new, you have to make a new cover page for it. So when we get ready to do our first lesson, I'm gonna show you how to make your cover page. I have to make sure that my table of contents is filled in and updated every day. That's gonna help you to stay organized. And all of your pages must be what? What does it say? Numbered. All of the pages must be what? Numbered. Numbered. And each page has to have a title, a date, and the objective. The objective lets us know what we're learning for that day. You have to also copy a little bit of what I write, a sum of what I write. Everything. Don't copy anything that I write. Everything, Everything that I write. You see that? And it's in all capital letters because that's very important. And then I ask that you use colors for notes, but you have to do all your math in what? In pencil. pencil, okay? So at the bottom, it says I, and there's a blank line, will do my best to follow the above rules for my interactive math notebook. What do you think goes in that line? Your name. Your name. Go ahead and write your name there. You're making a commitment to me that you're going to do your best to keep your interactive math notebook updated, neat, and have all the information in it that I have. After you have your name at the bottom, what I'd like you to do is glue in your guidelines into your interactive math notebook right behind or right next to your annual goals. So it'll look just like this. Ready? Ready? And let me see what scholars are ready. Let's come together. I need eyes on me in three. I need eyes on me in two. I need caps on glue sticks in one. So everyone's looking at me. Are there any questions about the pages we've glued in so far? Any questions about the pages that we've glued in so far? Yes. I'm sorry. So let's put a little more glue on there. Thank you for being quiet. Okay, now press it down. Now, in our guidelines, we talked about keeping 
updated with our information. How are we going to keep our notebooks organized? What are we gonna put that on? What is that, what do you think that is? What do you think that's gonna be? Object, uh, objective. It will have our objective on it, but it's gonna be our table of Cut content. Off. So, you should have four table of contents. And each one of your table of contents will go on a different page. Okay, now, each table of contents will go on a different page. So, after my guidelines, go ahead and turn the page. You should see two blank pages, right? So this is gonna be where your first two table of contents go. Go ahead and glue those in. Remember, you do not need a lot of glue. When you have the first two glued in, I'd like you to look at me so that I know we can go to the next part. That's good, that's enough. I wanna see it open up to where I can see both table of contents. This group is ready. I need a super scholar in three, two, one. Does anybody need more time to glue in those two table of contents? Okay, good. Now, turn the page. You should have two glued in. Now, if you turn the page, you see two more blank sheets, right? What's gonna go right here? The table of contents. So let's go ahead and glue those in. You don't need a lot of glue, shouldn't take a long time. Okay, so we should have our last two pages of our table of contents glued into our notebook. Okay, so let's go back to the front. Let's make sure we have everything the same and everything is glued in. So we're going back to the beginning. Everyone is opening up their notebooks to the beginning. So the first page we have on our cover is our star reference sheets. Everybody have that? Yes. Then we have our cover page. Does everyone have their cover page? Yes. Turn the page. We have our annual goals. We're going to make goals for what we want to do in math. You're going to make some personal goals, the steps you're going to take to reach your goals, and how you're planning to do that. What date are you going to reach those goals by? All right? The next page you should have should be the guidelines for using the interactive math notebook. Then you should have your table of contents. How many table of contents should you have? Four. Four, you should have four. We've done our inside, we've covered the outside of our notebooks, then now we need to number our pages. We're only gonna number our pages to 30. What number did I say? 30. Okay, so open up your notebook to the very last table of contents page. The last page from your table of contents is blank, right? I want you to skip, you should have two blank pages right now. I'll wait until I see two blank pages for everybody. So turn to the last page of table of contents. Then my two white pages, and then Ms. Curry said turn one more page. So there's my one more page. In this box right here, I'm gonna start with number one. And on this page in the box, I'm gonna start with number two. I'd like you to number your pages to 30. Go ahead and number your pages now. Make sure that you, get, you grab one page each time. When you are finished, put the cap on your marker and turn to the page in front of page one. It should be a page on the right side and it should be blank. So at this point, everyone looks like they have their pages numbered. If you need more time, please raise your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna give you about 10 more seconds. Those of you that are finished, Remember, I want you to go to the page in front of page one. On this right side page, and I'm gonna turn this way so you can see, I want you to start from the top line of the notebook paper 
and count down eight to yourself. I'm gonna count out loud because I want you to hear and see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I found my eighth line. Put your finger on your eighth line. When your finger is on your eighth line, look at me so that I know I can go to the next step. Now, watch me. So my finger is on my eighth line. With my marker, I'm going to draw a line on my eighth line. Please go ahead and do that now. All the way across. All the way across. Okay. Good. From this, okay, look up at me. All the way across. Make sure it's all the way across. Okay, so now watch me. You ready? From the eighth line, I'm now going to count down five lines. Okay, I'm gonna count them, and I'm not gonna draw, I'm just gonna count. One, two, three, four, five. When I get to my fifth line, I'm going to draw my line all the way across. Go ahead and do that now. Remember when we went over the guidelines, there was a little piece that said that you were going to make a cover sheet for each unit. This is your first cover sheet for your unit. And each time we do a lesson, I'm going to tell you, I need you to do 858, eight, and you've done 858. Eight. In the five is going to be the title of the lesson. And then I'm gonna ask you to give me three pictorial representations for whatever concept we're doing. And you're gonna do those pictures in the eight, okay? So she would make her, if we were doing shapes, she would put shapes or geometry, and then she would make me three pictures to represent the concept. And then when we come, when we get started, then we'll start on page what? One. Page one. So scholars, now that our interactive math notebooks are set up, what I'd like you to do is identify your shoulder partner. Look at your shoulder partner. And I'd like you to talk to them about what most excites you with using the interactive math notebook when I say go. Go. <laughs> Okay, let's come together in three. Close your notebooks in two. I need everybody looking at me in one. Take your notebooks and stack them in the middle of your desk. I'm looking for a table that's ready. Okay, and our interactive math notebooks, are all ready to use for our first lesson. Mm -hmm.